to another video of a girl, a book, and the mom. She's the mom. I'm the mom. I'm the girl, even though I have I have a bow. Even though you have a bow. Okay. And the book is Wings of Fire the Dragon at Prophecy. Now this book is book one. I don't think you can see it. Hope you can. <laughs> and so mostly it doesn't have any pictures. And mostly there's like a Nightwing's guide at the front of dragons. Mm -hmm. It shows the pictures of the Nightwings, the Mudwings, the Rainwings, the Skywings, and the Sandwings. And here's a little clip at the back. Mm. And there's a prophecy. Yes. Tell about the book. Show me. No. Tell them why you like it. So I like this book so much because even though it's like about like war, we still recommend it for first grade, but under first grade, no. Nah. Well, first graders might have a hard time reading it. Yeah, but they could, you know, have it read to them. Yes, they could. Yeah. Yes, and um, and I liked it because I liked the story of the friendship between the baby dragons, and then they went on an adventure. Yes. And I found Through that a cave in the river. Yes. Sploosh. Sploosh. And they met other dragons. So we liked it. Yes. Um, for first grade up, first graders might have a hard time reading it. But they could be read too. But they could be read too. And um, it's the first book in a series. Yes. All we have is the eight books, but there's like a huge series. There's a huge series. And they're very popular. And as she said, it's about a war, but... Uh, they, the war is kind of a secondary, um, thing going on to Like the... a war about, about sand wings, which are a type of dragon, and it's because their queen died, but they have three sisters, and none of them killed her. There was a scavenger that killed her, which means a person or a knight or a king or a hero because they because in a different book don't edit this part out. Okay. That it said that um they carried a sharp thingy called swords. Do you know an animal that carries a sword other than a person? Okay. <laughs> so I give it I would give it a three out of five. I think I would it's... give it a five out of five. Okay. Okay. So that's the book we read together. Adults, it's a short read. Uh, children, it might... I don't know. It, uh, how long did it take you to read it? Oh, a long time, but that's because I've been pausing on it. Oh. But if you just read it straight through and imagine it, oh, it'll go real quick. Okay. It's a real quick book. I think. Okay. And then what book did you bring today to review? I brought in Treasure Hunters. By? By James Patterson. Okay. Tell us about it. So there's like these kids and there's like pictures in it. Here's, here's a part of the pictures. And like it's a number one best-selling author. It's so good. It's about these kids, which are called Bick, Beck, and Tommy and Storm, which go on an adventure, but then they lose their dad, and they already lost their mom, so now they're kind of orphans, but their dad is, but they thought their dad was dead, but their dad is still alive. And they're now on this mission, Try to find some gold in a pirate ship. Try... Don't give any spoilers. Fleeing pirates. Wow. 
vicious pirates. Whoa. Then he even kidnapped one of them. Oh my golly. But then that one escaped with the uncle. Don't get any more spoilers. Okay, is this uh is this one in a series? Um yes, it is book number one. Oh. Would uh would you like other kids to read that book? Yes. And uh what do you rate it out of five? Hmm could have improvement. So mostly four point five. A four point five out of five? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. But still can have improvement. Okay. Is it, um, what age group would you think it for? Um, mostly, I would think it for first graders. You think first graders could handle it? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure if they know the words, I think. So maybe third graders? Not really, like second grade level. Okay. Okay. The book I brought to share today is something that I almost never read. In fact, I'm doing a graphic novel. Well, it is a graphic novel. I'm doing a book list challenge <laughs> um, yes. from the book list queen, I yes, think. Yes. I'll link her. Yeah. But uh, in the description. <laughs> but the uh, the one of the prompts on the book list is a genre you don't usually read yes and i read everything frankly except except a graphic novel except a graphic novel why uh, why just why they're the <laughs> best types of books <laughs> because i know you're gonna find this shocking i don't like superhero books no they don't have to be superhero books like these have a graphic novel yeah. this book is a graphic novel well it does have not that a one. version Okay, so a graphic novel is something that I don't usually read. Yes. Um, so I picked up Persepolis, the story of a childhood by Marjane Satrapi. Um, and while this review is suitable for children, this book is not. Um, it deals with some heavy subjects of war, and uh, it's based on a true story about a little girl uh, before the uh, Iraq Iran War and before the um, I think revolution, I, need to learn, I think I need to learn way more history. <laughs> I think you do, but I. Yes, I've never heard of the Iraq Iran War. Iraq Iran War? Yeah. Uh, well, it's in a different part of the country, and I think a lot of the times we get a skewed view of what happens in other places. And so uh, the pictures in this are. I really enjoyed them. Uh, they um, they tell the story of a little girl who grows up in um, this uh, political upheaval and through war. Mm, I like and, the pictures in that. Yeah, the pictures are, are pretty good. They um, they bring things across. Um, it is though. It is an honest portrayal of uh, war. And the adult subjects, uh, there's a tiny bit of bad language in here. Uh, there's a little bit of suicidal ideation, and uh, it's a little bit violent in some places. Age recommendation? Age recommendation would be for adults. Uh, age adults? 50-year-olds. No, I'm just kidding. Um, probably 18-year-olds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, but I really um, enjoyed this book. I, I enjoyed uh, far more than I suspected I would a graphic novel. Um, See, not all graphic novels are about superheroes. Right. This isn't about superheroes, and it has a version of a graphic novel. Okay. And the graphic novel has real good pictures. Okay. And also, I found this a very honest portrayal, and I learned a lot, surprisingly, while reading it. This was no Archie and Jughead. Yeah, those were graphic novels when I was a kid. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed our reviews. Subscribe. Click the bell. Give this a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and have a great day. Yes. Happy reading. Happy reading.